Hello and welcome. Today we're going to do a review of the Maxi Track 300 LPM. Check out this unboxing video. As it's unboxing, you can see it's pretty good packaging. Basic box, you know, outer box, foam, inner box, what have you. It's pretty simple. It looks pretty good. It looks all nice to contain. I don't like the bag as much because it looks pretty flimsy and I need something bigger, but uh, hey, I can use that bag for something else. But uh, there's the unboxing video. What I like about it, what I don't like about it. First of all, it's orange. It's a lot of orange. And it's not bad orange, but I really don't care for it. I'd rather have it black or something else, but I guess Max Track wants to make it really noticeable. It's orange. I don't really care for it. It's also kind of heavy. I don't know. It's heavier than the Smitty Belt. I wouldn't say it's twice the weight, but it's definitely heavier. Kind of big and bulky. Um, I don't know. It's definitely louder, like the dual compressors. Uh, check out my video when I did a head-to-head -head, uh, test between the Maxi Track and the Smitty Belt, and you can see that the Maxi Track is a lot louder. I actually had to turn down the volume in the recording, but I'll give you a clip here of how loud it really is. And you can see it's a lot louder. <laughs> so it's orange, it's heavy, it's loud. It's what I don't like too is the connector, this connector right here. That guy, can you imagine that? Each tire, you have to screw it on, it probably takes 10 twists, and you have to turn it off. To check your pressure, I'm gonna use this. It's, not, it's a okay gauge, but it's not very accurate. Well, at least down to the level I like. So I had to take this off and check the pressure and put it back on maybe three or four times per tire. Imagine doing that when it's hailing out. Imagine doing that when it's snowing out. Imagine doing that when it's raining out. Imagine doing that when anytime. It's just a really pain. It's very, very slow. Uh, you can easily go to Amazon and buy a quick disconnect, clip on, clip off. Much better. It's like 10 bucks for two of these. Get one of these. Get rid of that screw on thing. Also, this hose is terrible. I just by handling it, there's like black on my hand a little bit here. And I'm not sure. It's like some sort of oil or something. I don't know why it's on there. Maybe it'll wear off over time. I don't know. But the hose does do that. The hose is nice otherwise, but it does leave your hands a little bit black. Another thing I realized, so she on using my uh, maxi track is this back hose here. Uh, it actually started cracking after about, I don't know, 20 times being used. I, it's only a few months old and it's definitely cracking. It's not leaking, but it's definitely cracked. So kind of another thing I don't like about it. But those are all, you know, fixable. You can fix the hose. You can fix the whole stage you use. I mean, personally, I don't do one tire at a time. I use my multi plate system, so I don't even use this. Um, you know, but uh, for what it is, it's not bad. It's just going to leave your hands black for a while. But that connector, that's the worst. Whew. So it's orange, it's heavy, it's loud. Uh, it's the connector and the hose I don't really care for. Um, but what do I like about it? It's fast and expensive. It is really fast. I have a comparison I made between um, the Maxi Flat and this mini boat in a different video. You should check that out. And we're to go head-to-head -head contest so you can actually see how fast it is. So um, I did a little chart here so we can kind of compare. You got the Maxi Track 300 LPM, which is what we're talking about. And the Smitty Boat, I showed you this one, but I also compared it to the AIB Twin and also the Viair 400P. So what do we have for these? Um, Viair 400P. It's about 2.3 CFM cubic feet per minute. That's the rate at which it flows. 2.3 um, cubic feet per minute. The Smitty Belt is 5.56. Well, it's more than double. The ARB Twin is a little bit more than that. So how, how fast is the Maxi Track 300 LPM? What is 300 LPM? That's 300 liters per minute. It ends up being 10.59 cubic feet per minute. So, um, what price does that come at? Well, the Viera comes at uh, $239 and Spinnyboat $165. 
uh, ARB Twin. Now these kind of vary. You can get them cheaper on sales and things like that. But this is the prices I just got off Amazon uh, today. So they might be different tomorrow. Um, what's the maxi track? Well, last time I looked, 120. And that's not even the best. I mean, I've seen it. <laughs> I bought one for about 114 and I bought the next two for about 85 because you can get deals from uh, Napa online and they send you coupons. It's like they really want you to buy their stuff. So 120 is probably, uh, probably the higher end you can get it at. So how do these compare? The maxi track is definitely the fastest, bar none. Um, uh, ARB Twin is, is really good. Uh, it's really quiet and very multiple, which is great. I uh, really like that a lot. Smitty Built is uh, it's also fast and it's pretty inexpensive for the price or for what you get. Uh, 165, it's pretty fast. And the Vier, well, that's just very compact. I think it's really tiny, really small, pretty easy to lift, much lighter weight than the rest of them. So, so that's it. Makes a track for the win. I like them so much. I have three of them now and uh, can continue to use them and if replace hoses what's needed. Um, but uh, I like them a lot. So Maxi track for the win. Thanks for watching.